Hey guys, what is going on? This is JTEX here, and I'm coming at you with another little animated story here today. So about a couple years ago, my family had only access to one vehicle. My dad rode his bike to work, and we had to split this one vehicle between me, my sister, and my mom. It kind of sucked. It's whatever, though. We made it manage. We're past that now. But one day, one particular day, it was going to rain, the news said. So my mom was like, well, you guys drop me off at work, and then if it's raining, you can use a vehicle. If not, then... You can just come pick me up from work later on in the afternoon. I'm like, okay, that's perfectly fine. So me and my mom get dressed. I have to take my mom to work. And as we're driving there, I mean, it's not too far away, but it's not until we get up further down the road where we see this big old truck in front of us. I mean, this truck is like massive. I don't know exactly what type of truck it is. I would tell you if I knew it, but I don't. So this truck starts pulling out and right as this truck goes forward, there's this squirrel that just comes running out from behind the tree. And I'm just like, no, because I already knew what was going to happen. This truck flat out destroys a squirrel. Like, this squirrel's future is about as bright as Gunjin Daniel's YouTube career. So now this squirrel is acting like some limping dead thing that used to be alive in the road. And then out of nowhere, this thing starts flipping shit. Like, it's just flopping everywhere and jumping everywhere. Like, hitting the concrete and then flipping up in the air like maybe five or six feet like that's pretty tall for a squirrel he's just flapping everywhere let's just like hitting the concrete and jumping back up and i'm just like oh my god i mean the squirrel just got ran over by a two-ton truck and i'm just like oh well now you want to join the gymnastics team that's great and all but i don't think you're in the right physical condition for that or mental i don't think your brain works at this point so my mom was like can you put him out of his misery and i'm just like what do you want me to do it's not like i have a gun in the back of the truck or something to just go out there and just pop him in the head i mean even at that point there's a school like 50 feet from us behind us an elementary school so it's like yeah that's that's not really working out in my favor <laughs> so she's like you got a one ton truck just running over and i'm like mom no so it wasn't a good day for me.